Hey guys, it's a rainy day here and we are making no-bake chocolate oatmeal cookies. And we're trying them with steel cut oats because they're healthier. But I was telling Skyland earlier today, this is a wonderful memory of mine. I used to eat these in the cafeteria of my elementary school and I absolutely loved them. And I can remember when I would take my tray and I would slide my tray down and pick my, what I was eating for lunch, and I, dessert was always last, and I saw, I forgot what we call them, comment if you know what they are. And I'm telling my age now, because they, I, they probably don't exist in the cafeterias anymore, but these were the highlight of my whole day, was when I went through the cafeteria line and I found these at the end. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get what you're saying, I wasn't listening. It made my whole day. So, we are finishing these steel cut oats. We're gonna hope they work. We don't know if they're gonna work, but we're gonna try them. And- If not, I'm gonna eat all the people. Yeah, we're gonna hurry up and get along uh, with the recipe because she is eating all the peanut butter. So the first four ingredients, we're gonna put in a saucepan and heat up. So that's a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of peanut butter. So the first part is a half a cup of peanut butter. A half a cup of peanut butter? <laughs> a half a cup of butter. <laughs> One and a half cups of white cane sugar, and then half a cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of milk. So we're gonna head to the stove. This actually is a really nice one. Melt the butter, and the sugars, and the milk, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're melting the butter. Now dump in the other four. Okay, this is a half a stick of butter. And mine? No, it's not a half a stick of butter. It's a half a cup of butter. All right. Wait, wait let, me, let me see what it smells like. Rice crispy please. Does it? All right, that's a half cup of brown sugar, a cup and a half of white cane, cane sugar, and a little less than <laughs> half a cup of milk because you spilled it. <laughs> we're gonna take it back to the stove. All right, so we're gonna bring this to a gentle boil. These are our just buttered sugars and half a cup of milk. Remember, it's one and a half, one and a half cups of white sugar, one half cup brown sugar, one half cup milk and a half. Okay, so gentle, gentle boil. Just to start bubbling. We're still working on our steel cut oats over here. Ooh, let me give those a stir. Okay, so we took it off the heat. Now let's add a third cup of just unsweetened cocoa powder and the peanut butter. So we're adding a third cup of the unsweetened cocoa powder and a half a cup of peanut butter. Does it have to be unsweet? All right, stir, baby girl. A third cup of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa, and then a half a cup of creamy peanut butter. And of course, you can do all kinds of substitutes. I'm sure you could do almond butter, cashew butter. I'm sure there's a vegan way to make it as well. Sorry, Nash. Sorry, Nash. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna get the three cups of oats, and we're hoping steel cut oats work okay. So it looks like chocolate soup. But you know what this is really good with? When you get these cookies done, you make popcorn on a rainy day. All right, so that's all done. Now let's add the oats. Here's our steel cut oats, three cups. Uh, not quite three cups. I mean, stir that together. Hey, I'm looking here. Oh, it smells like elementary school. Is that weird? My first grade teacher's name was Miss Roach. <laughs> My second grade teacher's names, I had two teachers, Miss Brandon and Miss Woodleaf. My third grade teacher's name was Miss Haskins. Fourth grade teachers, I had two. They teen taught Miss Richardson and Miss Gribble. My fifth grade teacher was Miss Lamb. Miss Roach was your first grade teacher? Yeah, she wore she wore a bun like this. And they could, they could, they could, if you, if you misbehaved in class, then, that she, you could, you had to walk up to her desk and she took a ruler, she had a drawer right here. She took a ruler out of her drawer and she could take your hand and turn it upside down and pop it. That's what she did. I never got my hand popped, but when she popped somebody's hand, I thought. Okay, so here is our no-bake cookies. They we're gonna sit and let like them cool. We're gonna let them cool because the oats were hot. So we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna spoon them onto, you can do it on wax paper or aluminum foil, parchment paper. The steel cut oats I would not use 
We added some regular oats to it. If you want to use the steel cut oats, I would do three cups of steel cut oats and two cups of oats uh, mixed in with them because the steel cut oats just weren't, they just didn't have enough body to them. So, kind of looks like chocolate. So that's it. Now we're going to make popcorn. Let these set up. Bye guys, we love you. Happy rainy day, no bake cookie making. Put your comments below. And if you want anything that looks like Pinterest, we love y'all. See you next week.